Hi, welcome back to another video. Forward head posture is an extremely common condition where your head is positioned in front of your body's vertical midline. Forward head posture can cause neck pain, stiffness, and unbalanced gait and other side effects. It is often associated with round shoulders or hyperkyphosis. The good news is that you can usually fix it with stretching and strengthening exercises. Along with paying attention to good posture, can help to reverse the harmful effect of this postural deviation. I'm sharing with you in this video the best and the easiest corrective exercises to be incorporated into your regular exercise routine. However, these are only general recommendations and please seek further advice from your medical professionals. If you like this video, please click the like button, please leave your comments below and share this video. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my future weekly video release. Please also subscribe to this channel. This is completely free of charge, but will help the channel to grow. Thank you. So forward head posture is also called tax neck or nerd neck because it results from prolonged bending towards a computer screen or hunching over a laptop or cell phone. It is also associated with loss of muscle strength in the aging process. There are other causes including injuries and structural problems such as arthritis and bone degeneration. But in this video, we will focus on the corrective exercises for postural forward head posture. Now you're going to ask, do I have forward head posture? Well, try this simple test. Stand as usual with your back towards the wall with your feet positioned shoulder width apart. Press your buttock against the wall and ensure that your shoulder blades are in contact with the wall. Now, check your head position. Is the back of your head touching the wall? If it is not, you have forward head posture and should do your best to correct it. Alternatively, you can try this dynamic test. Place a marker on the floor, stand on it. Try skipping on the spot with your eyes closed for 15 seconds. Then open your eyes and see where your feet are. Forward head posture leads to unbalanced gait and the distance from the marker on the floor can indicate the severity of your forward head posture. Forward head posture can change the balance of muscles of your upper back, neck and shoulders that support your head. When your posture is misaligned, it can overload these muscles, causing muscle imbalances. The muscles at the front of your neck, such as the deep neck flexors, become weaker and those at the back of your neck, such as sternocleidomastoid, get tightened. Other effects of forward head posture include chronic neck pain, tight neck muscles, and reduced range of motion, tension headache, and backache. Forward head posture involves an imbalance of muscles of the neck, shoulders, and upper back. These are the weakened muscles, and the main one we will focus in this video are the deep neck flexors and the muscles of your mid-back. And these are the tightened muscles that need to be stretched out, and we will focus on the upper trapezius and the pectorals in this video. The first exercise I'm sharing with you is deep breathing. Inhalation and exhalation are made possible by contraction in the muscles surrounding the lungs. When you inhale, the diaphragm will lift the rib cage and expand the chest cavity to allow air into the lungs. It is assisted by the intercostal muscles which are located between your ribs. The ribs will separate slightly as the thoracic cavity expands. Because the ribs are attached to different segments of the spine, the action will also elongate the spine, reducing pressure on the intervertebral disc and strengthening muscles in the torso. While deep breathing and using full capacity of your lungs, you also reinforce the natural curvature of your spine. And upper back, neck and shoulders are more likely to come into an optimal natural position. This can reduce tension in the upper body and help to develop better posture. One of the simplest techniques is to breathe in deeply to a count of four before releasing your breath over another four counts. You should notice that your abdomen, ribs and chest are all pushed forward as you breathe. The shoulders, neck and spine will naturally be put into proper alignment during this action. The next exercise is the chin tuck. It is a great exercise to strengthen the deep neck flexors. I'm showing you three variations to try. By way of background information, there are four muscles that make up the group of muscles known as the deep neck flexors. Each of these muscles come in a pair, and they are located on either side of the front portion of your neck. The deep neck flexors are the equivalent of the core of the neck. Despite the small size, they are the most important antagonists of the large cervical spine extensors. The primary goal is to stabilize the front of your neck and any weaknesses in these muscles can result in poor movement and stability of the neck as well as overcompensation of the other neck muscles. The first chin tuck variation is a great exercise for you to do just before you get out of bed in the morning. 
Lie flat on your back, tuck your chin in, pushing your head into your pillow. Return to normal chin position and repeat 3 sets of 12. Next variation, chin tuck standing against the wall. Stand with your shoulders, head and back flat against the wall. Tuck your chin in, hold for a few seconds. Return to a normal chin position and then repeat. Next progression, banded chin tuck. Fix the resistance band high up on the stable gym equipment. Wrap the band round the back of your head. Maintain a reasonable amount of tension from the resistance band. Keep your head straight and your chin parallel to the floor. Pull your chin back towards your chest as though you are making a double chin. While your chin is tucked in, translate your head back away from the base of your neck. Hold this position for three deep breaths. Return to a normal chin position and repeat for three sets of 12. Next, stretch the back of your neck muscles. First, tuck your chin in using two fingers of one hand. Place your other hand on the back of your head and apply a gentle force down as you pull your head towards your chest. When you feel a stretch at the back of your neck, hold this position for 20 to 30 seconds and repeat this stretch for three times. Keep your chin tucked in as you do this stretch. Forward head posture, commonly associated with hyperkyphosis, is also known as the upper cross syndrome. And this is typically associated with tight pectorals and weak mid-back muscles. This particular drill would tackle both at the same time. This exercise will activate and strengthen your lower and mid-back muscles, including the lower and mid-trapezius, and opening up your chest at the same time. Stand with your feet hip-width apart and tuck your chin in and raise your chest up, allowing your spine to be in a neutral position. Rest both your arms down by your side. Now bring your arms back and clasp your hands behind your back. Retract your shoulders and squeeze your shoulder blades. Hold this position for 5 to 10 seconds. Aim for 2 to 3 sets of 10 to 12 repetitions. As I've just mentioned before, upper cross syndrome is associated with tight upper back muscles. This stretch enables you to release the tightened neck and upper back muscles, including the scalene and upper trapezius. So stand with your feet hip width apart, place one of your hands on the opposite side of your head. Now bring the head down towards your shoulder. To deepen the stretch, use that hand to gently press your neck down further, hold for 20 to 30 seconds, and repeat for 2 to 3 sets. Lastly, proper ergonomics. If you sit at a computer for an extended period of time, the single most important thing you can do to improve your workstation is to ensure that your computer monitor is positioned properly to allow your neck to remain in a neutral and relaxed position while you work. Thank you for watching until the end. If you like this video, please click the like button. Please leave your comments below and share this video. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my future weekly video release. Please also subscribe to this channel. This is free of charge but will help the channel to grow. If you are interested in improving your health and fitness or losing weight, if you suffer from or wish to prevent back pain, please take a look at my book, which is now available from Amazon Worldwide. Thank you.